At WWE Clash at the Castle, there are several different wrestlers who are rumored to return to WWE at the pay-per-view. First up, let's discuss the return of The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Now, ever since The Fiend, Bray Wyatt was released by WWE during the summer of 2021, there have been rumors that he would be coming back to the company. But so far, those rumors have been proven to be false. Bray Wyatt never showed up in AEW, never showed up in Impact, never even showed up at an independent wrestling event. He has done some wrestling conventions where he signed autographs and took pictures with fans, but he never signed with a wrestling company. And because of this, he is still available to return to WWE. And with Vince McMahon gone and Triple H taking over, the door is now open more than ever for Bray Wyatt's return because Vince McMahon and Bray Wyatt did not get along at the end of Bray's tenure in WWE and there was a lot of bad blood between them. But now with Triple H taking over, Bray might be more open to returning to WWE because he would no longer have to deal with Vince McMahon. So the question became, once Triple H took over, when would Bray Wyatt return? And all of the rumors are now pointing to the Clash at the Castle pay-per-view, as WWE wants to make huge headlines with this event. And as we know, there's going to be 70,000 people in attendance for this pay-per-view and they want this to be a major deal. A way to do that is to have a huge return. And Bray Wyatt might be the wrestler that fans want to see back in WWE the most. Because fans were very angry with WWE for releasing him. He was still a very popular wrestler. And at Clash of the Castle, at some point during the pay-per-view, the lights in the stadium are going to go off. And then the fiend will appear in the middle of the ring and it is possible that he will then attack a wrestler and this will signify that he is 100 percent back in wwe but there are going to be some huge changes with the fiend bray wyatt once he makes his return one of these big changes is going to be he will no longer be associated with Alexa Bliss. Some fans believe that one of the reasons why The Fiend Bray Wyatt lost popularity with fans was because of his association with Alexa Bliss. And some fans wondered if he did come back at Clash of the Castle, will he come back as the cult leader Bray Wyatt? Will he come back as Husky Harris, the muscle man? Will he come back as the burned Fiend? Well, according to insiders, if he does indeed come back at Clash of the Castle, he will come back as the Fiend Bray Wyatt, the most popular version of the Fiend. The Fiend Bray Wyatt hopes that this time things will go much better and he will once again become a main event star as he returns at the Clash at the Castle pay-per-view. CM Punk has made a huge statement about possibly returning to WWE at the Clash at the Castle pay-per-view. If you've been following the news on CM Punk and AEW, you know that it's not good. The relationship between Punk and the head of AEW, Tony Khan, has been strained as of late. And also, there are several AEW wrestlers who are very angry at CM Punk. And there are rumors that we have seen the last of CM Punk in AEW. And adding fuel to the fire was the very quick squash match where John Moxley defeated CM Punk on Dynamite to become the undisputed AEW champion. And CM Punk was embarrassed on live TV. And many fans, after they saw this, said it looks like CM Punk is leaving AEW and they embarrassed him on the way out. One of the reasons why CM Punk lost that match to John Moxley and Dynamite 
was possibly Tony Khan's way of punishing CM Punk for Punk going off script, having a bad attitude, and creating a bad backstage atmosphere. And if that truly was the last time we saw CM Punk in AEW, then what does it mean for CM Punk's future in professional wrestling? Well, according to a late breaking rumor, CM Punk's future could involve Clash at the Castle, as Tony Khan and AEW have had enough with CM Punk's bad attitude, and they don't care if they release him and then he jumps ship immediately to WWE. And according to rumors, in CM Punk's AEW contract, there is not a no-compete clause. As we know, in WWE, there are 30-day no-compete clauses, 90-day, 6 months. It just depends on the wrestler's contract because they don't want to release a wrestler and then the next night have them show up in AEW. Whereas in CM Punk's contract, it does not include a no-compete clause, which means that if we just saw the last of CM Punk in AEW and they're going to release him, then he can show up just a few days later at the Clash at the Castle pay-per-view. According to rumors that if AEW does indeed release CM Punk, Triple H is ready to sign him to a huge multi-year contract and then Triple H wants CM Punk to show up at the Clash at the Castle pay-per-view. And the plan is right now for CM Punk to show up at the end of the pay-per-view and then he will confront the winner of the Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre match. And some fans might say, well, why would CM Punk go to WWE? They destroyed his career. They made fun of him. They ruined his life, endangered his health. Well, that was Vince McMahon's WWE. And CM Punk himself has said that he's had conversations with Triple H since leaving WWE. And because Vince McMahon is now gone, CM Punk might be willing to sign with WWE. What are your thoughts about the rumor that The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, will make his return at the Clash of the Castle pay-per-view? And what do you think about the rumor that CM Punk will be released from AEW and then return to WWE at the Clash of the Castle pay-per-view? Leave a comment below and give me your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you are notified when we upload a new video.